In Ghana, there are a number of ideograms, and there is one that is about the principle of Sankofa. It is a bird, but the bird is looking back. And the importance of Sankofa is know where you've been so you'll know where you're going. My name is Jessica Harris. I have been working as a food historian, as someone tracing the food of the African diaspora for maybe not 50 years, but probably 35 to 40 of those 50 years. Thank you very much. My parents were extraordinary. I'm an only child. They sent me to the United Nations International School. I was the first non-UN child to go to the school, and as such, it made me a citizen of the world. I got started as a journalist probably in the early 1970s. It was the era of the Black Arts Movement in New York. Many years later, the first culinary book that I wrote was called Hot Stuff, a cookbook in praise of the piquant. Hot Stuff became the first step on the journey. One of the things that's so interesting about studying about food is that it connects with absolutely everything. I think that if you understand where food comes from, you respect it more, you honor it more. It's really important for people to understand the enormous influence that African food traditions have had. African cooking has changed the world in any number of ways. You're dealing with enslavement, people who were at the bottom of the food chain, the people who were growing the food, who were harvesting it, preparing it, serving it for centuries. That's who was doing much of the hemisphere's cooking. Your history is on the plate. Food is identity. So why do I do it? because somebody has to. When I sort of turned the corner to accept my history and culture, it was Jessica's books that I turned to. And I get a little emotional about it because there's so much that I realized I didn't know. And the way Jessica shares this information and draws you in is something that goes right into your heart. I think that my family grounded me in us in such a way that I could look beyond the personal us to a more global us. I am thrilled at being a lifetime awardee. However, if I may remove myself from the personal aspect of it, I think what it also signals is the beginning of an acknowledgement of the extraordinary culinary legacy that it has been my singular pleasure to spend the better part of 40 years writing about. I think that that legacy is something that we are only beginning to acknowledge, to examine, and beginning to thank. <laughs>